Asian Rush Marty signing in. A my programming analyze. Welcome to part eight, part ten. I mean, of the C plus plus and S of Mall two to platform tutorial series. So we covered the last tutorial is we got an awesome blue snail scooting across the screen at a snail incredibly faster than any snail that I've ever seen. And so we got it so that if we move him to the left, he moves to the left, and if we don't press anything, he's not moving at all. So that is working perfectly how we want him. It's a great prototype for future progress. So we're going to be working on this tutorial, is we're going to be working on printing out some text onto the screen using SFML. So let's begin in the coding come down demo with A, enter. This way I'm, uh, I'm not rambling on for hours on end of both these videos. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to our C drive. This so mine's located at this PC. And make sure you follow all these steps carefully, otherwise, you know, you might not be able to find the fonts folder. And if you guys are using Linux or Mac Macintosh, this might be a little bit different. But if you're, you guys are using a Windows machine, go to C drive, and then you see a folder called Windows. You're going to want to open that, and then you're going to want to see a folder called Fonts. You're going to want to open that one as well. So inside Fonts, basically select the font that you just have been dying to use your whole life. And I'm going to go with consoles because I, I just really like consoles. Because actually, like, my first programming language that I was learning was Batch, actually. I mean, it's not technically a language. But, and the default font for that is consoles. So I kind of just fell in love with consoles and have been a big fan of consoles forever or since. So, select it. Make sure it's got that blue selection to be sure you selected it. And maybe my face is in the way. Here we go. Select it. Control-C to copy it. And now what we're going to want to do is go on over to your C++ and SFML to do platform project folder. So inside that folder, go into your data file folder, I and mean, we should say file and folder, they get me confused. And go into that data fo folder and right click and then we're going to want to create a new folder. New folder and we're going to want to name this folder here fonts. And this is where we're going to want to store all the fonts that we're going to use in our to do platform. So now you can finally press that long awaited control V button. Oh, it feels better. You're in the wrong zone, soldier boy. There we go. So it's copied all our fonts in here. If you might be thinking, well, what, I only copied one folder, one one file, I mean. Well, and we've got like four here. Well, the reason we have that is because this here is your basic console's font. Let's zoom out a little so we can see it. Basic console's font. This one here is bold basic bold consoles font and this one here is uh that's like slanted over so and then this consoles font here is an italics so we're going to just basically all we're going to use for now is console a so then we're now we're going to want to go let's go into a code box project file so open that up and then we're going to want to go down into the main function and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to load the font so first let's load the font to load the font all you have to do is type font with a capital f so we're going to call this font here, console font, console last font, console font, there we go. And then add a semicolon to the end of that. So this calls font class, that's part of SFML. And then console last, I have a feeling you didn't spell it right. Maybe my, are playing, my mind is playing a trick on me. Then give it a variable name of whatever the heck you want. So this here is an object, so you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine console's font. Then you're going to want to go as console last font or the name of your object and then add a dot and then load yep load from file with capital R from file open up some parameters or parentheses and the parameters we're going to give it is a string to open a string it's two quotation marks inside the string then you have to write out the full path from your project file folder to your actual to your actual piece of data so our piece of data here is a font file so we're going to type the full path to it so path from us to them is data and then a forward slash one access in a new folder images no it's not images i'm like okay it's in fonts fonts and then another forward slash because we're accessing whoops that's with s and then inside the fonts folder it's console a it's console a and then dot ttf or tff tff and how you know what what the extension is you're, you're going to the font and then if you right click on the font and you go properties they'll tell you pretty quick what type of font it is so my this one here is dot ttf so that's going to work just fine and dandy so now, now we can close out of that so now it's loaded up the font be sure you include that semicolon that i almost missed out on and then what we want to do is go on and type text with a capital t so that's accessing the text class which is again part of sfml and then we're going to call this here 
this text, we're going to call this hello text. Add a semicolon to the end of that. And then what you want to do is we're going to go give it some per some parentheses. So the parameters we're going to give it is first we give it a string. So what is going to be actually being printed out, not printed out, but displayed on the screen. So we're going to call this one, um, hello, uh, hello snail. How about that? Hello snail. So you can name this what just gibberish, whatever you want. Hello snail. So what we're going to use add a comma, add a comma. And then what we want to do is type the object font the font object so then so our font object here is console as font i knew i spelled it wrong i knew it. i kept thinking in my head something's not right there we go console as font now i can finally see it i mean my brain must have been spazzing out for a second there console font there we go so hopefully now we shouldn't have any errors and then what you want to do is type the font object so ours is console as font Control c paste that there so that's gonna be the font we're using add a comma and then we're going to want to type is how big we want it so we can set this sucker here to a 50 sized font and now that's just going to load up the it's going to give us a hello text object so now to actually draw that on a screen go into your while app dot is open loop and what you want to do your is type time is yep, up. Your type, time, time is, is no don't up. type that uh then we're going to type is app dot draw let's just finish the line really quickly so app dot draw and then type the name as parameters and then give it the parameter of your text object. So ours is, uh, what was it? Uh, hello text. I, yep, hello text. Add a semicolon to the end of that and hopefully error free. New has no, oh, yeah, of course. Has no member name Drad. Of course not. It's draw. There we go. There we go. That was just me speaking in Martian language. Draw is actually a word in Martian language, but you guys didn't know that. Failed to load font fonts console.ttf well let's see what it's talking about here so go here we've got data we got fonts check so console law did i spell it wrong maybe let's see con oh yes i did spell it wrong console law there that that should work in theory but first we got well also what we have to do is forgot to do is to copy that basically copy your data folder again Control c and then paste it into your bin debug anytime you edit anything in the data folder you're gonna have to paste it into your bin and debug so that you can actually run it from the bin debug and it's saying it can't find it maybe it's ttf it's, it's okay well no wonder can't find it it's a dot ttf all right so now if we compile and run it we should be 100 percent error free and it should be printing out hello snail hello snail and yep, it's saying hello snail. All right, so we're printing out text on the screen. The reason we're going to need text for up to the platformer is we, if we have a score counter in the corner, that's going to be text right there. If we have something on the menu, that's going to be text right there. Unless we want to use images for all that, and that could take a while. So anyways, we, in this tutorial, we got text printing out onto the screen. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments about C++ or the SFML library, leave that down in the comments section. Be sure to leave a like before you leave. And if we guys help you out and you guys enjoy it, you enjoy what you do, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be seeing you tomorrow on Ever Tech News Breaks. Marshmallow out.